We have been talking about all of the violence that has been happening, not only in our city, but across this nation. I was really placed upon Tony's heart uh, to, to do something musically that would remind us of the importance of the next generation. And this is really our benediction, uh, that Tony will serve uh, as our benediction leader, uh, and then we will exit out from here with just a simple amen. Brother Tony. One of our greatest songwriters. When he talked about writing songs, he talked about Quincy Jones, he said that the way he begins to write songs, he writes it from the drum. He uses the drum first. And in my sanctified imagination, it's like the Spirit of God, it's like the heart. The Spirit of God is like the heart. That's all it is. So in the wake of all the violence, we have seen countless numbers of pictures of mothers and fathers sisters and brothers crying. But I challenge you, as my pastor says, to imagine. What would God look like? The face of God looking back at his creation with tears in his eyes. I heard one preacher says that God, the Bible, raises more questions than answers. And I believe that, that God has a question for us. There'll come a time when the world won't be singing. Flowers won't grow. No, and the bells won't be ringing. Who really cares? Who is willing to try to save the world that is destined? a bad, bad way to live, and who's, who's to blame when we can stop living, oh, say the baby, and if you want to know, say
to bring some love in here today. Pick it like pick it signs, don't you punish me. Brutality, talk to me. You can see what's going on. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. See you Christmas and see you next week. Amen.